Have you ever felt manipulated or controlled in a relationship? It's a question that may resonate with more of us than we'd like to admit. Today, we're delving into the often overlooked yet devastating world of mental abuse. A realm where words and actions become tools of manipulation, control, and intimidation. Unlike its physical counterpart, mental abuse isn't always plain to see. It's a subtle, insidious force that operates beneath the surface, wearing away at a person's emotional and mental health. It's the invisible hand that pulls the strings, the silent whisper that sows doubts, and the unseen weight that crushes spirits. The true severity of mental abuse is often underestimated, yet its impact can be just as, if not more, destructive than physical abuse. It leaves scars not on the body, but on the psyche, altering perceptions and eroding self-worth. Recognizing the signs of mental abuse is the first step towards confronting it. Mental abuse is insidious and often hard to detect, but there are signs. Firstly, victims of mental abuse may exhibit noticeable changes in mood and behavior. This can manifest as sudden shifts from being outgoing to withdrawn, from cheerful to consistently low-spirited. Anxiety or depression may seem to shadow them, and they may struggle with basic tasks due to difficulty in sleeping, eating, or concentrating. It's like a persistent fog that dulls their everyday life, making even simple joys hard to appreciate. The second sign is low self-esteem. Mental abuse often involves a systematic degradation of the victim's self-worth. The abuser may constantly belittle or criticize the victim, making them feel worthless or undeserving of respect. Over time, these negative messages can become internalized, leading the victim to see themselves through the abuser's distorted perspective. They may believe they are not good enough, not smart enough, or simply not worthy of kindness or love. It's like wearing a pair of glasses that only show you a distorted, negative image of yourself. The third sign is fear of the abuser. This isn't just a normal fear, but an all-consuming, walking-on-eggshells kind of fear. The victim may change their behavior to avoid upsetting the abuser, and this fear can dominate their life. They may stop doing things they enjoy, limit their interactions with others, or constantly check their own behavior to avoid triggering the abuser's wrath. It's like living with a volatile volcano, never knowing when it might erupt. These signs can be subtle and may be dismissed or misunderstood by those around the victim. But they are clear indicators of mental abuse. These shifts in mood and behavior, the erosion of self-esteem, and the pervasive fear of the abuser are all part of the devastating impact of mental abuse. If you notice these signs in someone you know, it's important to reach out and offer support. No one should have to navigate the stormy seas of mental abuse alone. These signs can be subtle, but they are clear indicators of mental abuse. Mental abuse continues to manifest in various ways. While we've covered some signs already, it's important to understand that the spectrum of emotional abuse is broad and diverse. Let's delve into three more signs that might be indicative of mental abuse. Firstly, fatigue. This isn't just about feeling a little tired after a long day at work. It's a deep, profound exhaustion that seems to permeate every aspect of your life. It's the kind of fatigue that sleep doesn't seem to cure, and it's often a result of living in a constant state of stress and fear. Imagine feeling like you're walking on eggshells every day, never knowing when the next verbal attack might come. The constant vigilance and tension can be incredibly draining, leaving you feeling perpetually worn out. Secondly, difficulty trusting others. This can be a direct result of the manipulative tactics used by an abuser. They may isolate you from friends and family, making you question their intentions and loyalty. Over time, this can lead to a pervasive sense of distrust, even in relationships that were once safe and secure. You may start to believe that everyone is out to get you, or that you can't rely on anyone but yourself. This can be an incredibly isolating experience, further compounding the effects of the abuse. Lastly, physical symptoms. While mental abuse doesn't leave visible scars, it can manifest in physical ways. This might include unexplained headaches, stomach aches, or muscle aches. You might also experience changes in appetite, sleep disturbances, or even panic attacks. These symptoms can be a direct result of the chronic stress and anxiety caused by the abuse. It's your body's way of telling you that something is not right. These signs can be easily overlooked, but they are crucial in identifying mental abuse. It's important to remember that if you're experiencing these symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean you're being abused, but they are red flags and they shouldn't be ignored. Listen to your body and your feelings. They're often the first to know when something's not right. Identifying mental abuse is the first step, but what comes next? 
so you've recognized the signs, either in your own life or in someone else's. This is a significant stride, yet it's only the beginning of a journey towards healing. In the face of mental abuse, it's crucial to reach out for help. This may seem daunting, but remember, you're not expected to navigate these turbulent waters alone. There are professionals trained specifically to guide you through this process. Therapists, for instance, can provide valuable insight into your situation. They are equipped to help you understand the dynamics of mental abuse and develop strategies to cope with it. They can also assist in rebuilding your self-esteem, which often takes a hit in such circumstances. But therapy isn't the only avenue of support. There are numerous support groups available, both online and offline. These are safe spaces where you can connect with others who have walked in your shoes. The power of shared experiences cannot be underestimated. They can provide comfort, reduce feelings of isolation, and offer practical advice. You might be surprised at how much strength you can draw from someone else's story of resilience. In the same vein, confiding in trusted friends or family members can be beneficial. Sometimes, simply having someone listen without judgment can make a world of difference. But remember, it's essential to choose someone who will respect your experiences and respond with empathy. If you suspect someone you know is a victim of mental abuse, don't hesitate to reach out to them. Your concern and support can be the catalyst they need to seek help. However, be patient and understanding, as they may not be ready to accept help immediately. The journey to recovery from mental abuse may be challenging, but it's important to remember that you don't have to walk it alone. There's a myriad of resources and people ready to lend a helping hand. The first step may be the hardest, but every step you take is a step towards reclaiming your life. Remember, there is always help available. You are not alone and you do not have to endure mental abuse.